what is this place? Where am I? It's so green. A radio. Oh, there's no signal here. It also seems to read those old cassettes, but there's none inside. Hello, John. My name is Dr. James Richards, and this is Dr. Calame. Hello, John. If you are hearing this, it means that the initial procedure went perfectly. We have linked your mind to the dream of a man named Luke Williams. As for your body, it is being kept safe, here, close to us. Luke has been diagnosed with severe depression. We have attempted several incursions into his dreams, but he has always detected our presence, gleaned our intentions and evaded us. The roots of his current state of depression are buried quite deep. This is where you come in, John. You see, you volunteered to help us with this one. We need to remind you that your own memories are inaccessible during the entire operation. It means that you won't remember who you are, nor recall these events after it all ends. But whatever you do or do not remember, know this. We accepted your offer because you are the best in the field. John, your job is to track Luke and liberate him from whatever oppressive thought is weighing down on him. Set him free, John. You don't have much time. The longer he stays under, the easier it will be for him to fade away. Time to get to work, John. You are his last hope. And his only one. I would wish you luck, but I doubt you need any of it. We'll be monitoring you closely and retract you instantly if the situation spirals out of control. One last thing. We will be out of contact for the duration of your mission. The technology is not quite fully mature yet. Right then. See you in a couple of hours. Hmm? I? What? What's happening here? What are you talking about? Wait, what the... What in God's name is going on? Whoa! Hello. Oh, good evening. Isn't it a little late for someone your age to be out all alone? Oh, our house is right over there. And you know, there are no dangerous creatures, not in these woods. No wolves, bears, or even foxes. And my dad is right there at the porch. Oh, I didn't know anyone lived this deep in the woods. Oh, but we don't. This is our vacation house. Mom and Dad built it a couple of years ago. I love it up here, but... I had no idea there were other houses around. Where is yours? Boy, 
if you walk that way for 30 minutes, you'll be standing in front of my house. Ooh, do you have a hot tub? Oh, no, uh, I'm afraid I don't. That's too bad. It's a little chilly here sometimes. Well, what about you? What are you doing here, all alone, sitting on this wooden swing? Oh, you know, I love sitting here. My daddy and I built it. He attached these ropes to a branch on this tree and told me to find a wooden seat. I found this one by the waterfall. It fit perfectly. It was such a fun weekend. I love building stuff with my dad, and this is my favorite construction. Well, congratulations. You did a wonderful job. It really looks well built and fun. Thanks. So you're just watching the stars on your spot? Yes. Well, and you know, waiting for Rufus. Rufus? Yes, you know, my dog. My parents gave him for Christmas two years ago. He's so lovely and little and energetic. Oh, and uh, where's Rufus now? Oh, he sometimes wanders off by himself in the woods. You know, these woods are very, very safe. We put some lights around his collar, so he got even more excited than usual. Aren't you worried he might get lost? No. I mean, maybe a little. It's been more than an hour, I think. Can, can I ask you a big favor? Could you please get him back here if you happen to see him? Of course. Oh, thank you. I'm really getting worried now. He responds very well to his name, Rufus. You know, I picked it when he was still a little one. Oh, you picked a great name for him. Well, I'm going to continue my night hike and uh, I'll find your dog. Thanks. Hello, neighbor. Oh, my, I, hello there. Sorry, I, I haven't seen anyone hereabouts in a while. You gave me quite a scare there. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, and for coming out of nowhere straight from the dark. I'm John Stevens. I was just taking a night stroll in the wilderness when I spotted some bright lights ahead. I couldn't help checking them out. I wasn't aware anyone lived here. Ah, well, this is our country house, so to speak. We live in the city, but often come here on weekends and holidays. It's quite peaceful. Oh, indeed. I'm Luke, by the way. Luke Williams. Nice to meet you, Luke. Is that your daughter? I yes, that's Anne. She's always up late playing with that little devil. Little devil? <laughs> That's what we call our dog. He simply loves the woods and Anne loves playing with him out here. So we just let her play on until late. I see. Aren't you afraid she might get injured or something? Well, kids should be able to fall, get some bruises and have fun in the wild. And this neck of the woods is as calm and uneventful as you would like. And besides, we can't protect our kids forever. Although as parents, we always try to. They're part of us, aren't they? Do you have children? No, I don't. I, I guess the opportunity never arose. It still might. Anyway, um, where are you staying? In a... Tent? Yes, it's about a quarter of an hour from here. I'm staying for a couple of days. I intend to just do some walking in the woods. Right then. Well, if you need anything, food, medicine, or just company, um, drop in anytime. You know where we are. You're so kind, Luke. 
I'll probably pass here to say hello a couple of times. See you later! Water? Again? Well, at least I think this lake isn't deep enough for me to drown. There you are. Oh, you're shaking. Come here, boy. Come here. Oh, you're really afraid of me, aren't you? Uh, okay. How will I get you out of there? Uh-oh. This rock is very unstable. If it falls, I'll crush that little devil. Careful, John. I don't think it's a very good idea to throw the stick there. I don't think it's a very...
Where did the dog go? I... I know this place. How did I get here? Did, oh, I hope he did. Oh, hello again. Look, this is Rufus. He came back. He was running so fast. He seemed scared. He almost didn't recognize me, but I yelled. He turned his head and he seemed so happy to see me. He always comes back. Well, you know, I found your dog by the lake, close to the waterfall. He did? He most likely got lost and the thundering sound of the fall must have scared him. He was below a rock of some sort, hiding from the noise. Oh, poor Rufus. I managed to get him out of his hiding place, but I guess I scared him too. Luckily he found you while running away from me. I was so scared I would lose him. I'm sorry. Sorry? You brought him back to me. I... You are so kind, I don't even know how to thank you. Oh, it was nothing, really. I'm just glad you got back together. I have to get back now. Will I see you again? Who knows? Bye, Anne. Hi, Luke. Hi, John. Great timing. I was about to call Lamb back home and retreat. Oh, you do that. I was on my way back to my tent. Did you have a pleasant night hike? Oh, actually, I went looking for Rufus. Rufus? Our dog, Rufus. Why? Well, please don't get mad at Anne, but... Uh... The poor guy got scared by the sound of the waterfall and was just paralysed under a rock. I tracked him down and, and kind of brought him back. I didn't know that. Why hasn't she told me? She thought you would get mad. I, I, I don't think I would. Imagine if you weren't around. What would happen to Rufus? Because she was afraid to talk to me? Don't take it that way. It's normal for kids to hide these problems from their parents. I... I know you're right, but still, it, it could have been a big deal. Don't think about it. Well, I... Are you thirsty? Am I... thirsty? <laughs> well, uh, a little bit, but... Uh... There's a jar of water in the table right in the hallway. Just open the door and take some. I, uh... You saved Dan's dog, and you must be exhausted. Go on, I'll, I'll just stay here for a while longer. Okay, uh, I'll be right back. Thanks. go back there. I'd most likely be lost. Family portrait. The faces are somewhat hard to distinguish, <laughs> but they seem like a united and happy bunch. Sorry, Luke, but I need to see if I can find something useful. 
I'm doing this to help you. Ah, there's a piece of paper in this drawer. So many books. <laughs> A lot of classics out here. Oh, Les Miserables. Oh, how I loved it. Wait a minute. Rita Williams. Could it be? Luke's wife? Glass of water would feel good right now. Oh, damn. Well, I better get back outside. Or could I explore a little? Hmm. Oh. What? It's daytime. Where are they? In and the door has locked itself. What's happening here? What's this? I, I can't read it. What if it's something important? Hello? Hello there. Need any help? You're gasping. I'll be all right in a moment. Thank you. My husband and I were hiking, making our way through the rocks and the brambles. We used to do it all the time a few years ago. I guess I'm too old for this now. No, you seem in pretty good shape. <laughs> You're too kind. What about you? It's not very often I come across fellow hikers in this place. Well, I suppose you haven't seen anyone else today. I'm actually searching for a... a friend of mine. Really? Yes, he's here on holiday. He usually stays in a little hut, just a couple of minutes away. Is that the wooden one with a small porch up front, close to a well? Yeah, that's the one. Have you been there? Well... No one lives there anymore. Sorry? We built that house, my husband and I, ten years or so ago, but we had to sell it a while back. We passed by it a while ago and peeked through the window. It looked abandoned. The new owners don't seem to come very often. My husband was quite upset about it. Oh, somehow it didn't seem so, at least from the outside. You know the man who bought it from us? I forget his name. Um... Jack! Yes, Jack... something? No, no, I meant Luke. Luke Williams. That's my husband. Have we met before? I... I don't think we have. I am Rita, Luke's wife. Where do you know him from? Oh, hi Rita. I'm John Stevens. I met Luke here some years ago, outside your house, uh, on the porch. And I met your daughter, Anne, as well. Uh, how is she? How come I have never heard of you? She's fine, thank you. How about you? Oh, I'm fine as well, thanks. 
I haven't been back here for a long time, so I was passing by and I thought to check whether you were here, just on the off chance. That's probably what they call destiny. Well, it's great to meet you. Luke has just gone off to the edge of a cliff on the other side of that bridge. I simply couldn't keep up. What a convenient bench. Oh, thank you. I'll go off and say hello. Everything going fine? Yes, it is, thanks. He's waiting for an important call from work. We actually came here so that he could try to take a break from obsessing about it. It'll be nice for him to talk to you. Well, thanks, Rita. I'll be right back. Take your time and enjoy the view. Will do. Bye. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe.